coach out there, you know, sets the tone for, you know, how the outing's going to go. And, you know, I've been in that situation um, all the way since I was a kid, all the way up until now. So, you know, it's not any bigger moment. It's just, uh, you know, staying with your, within yourself and making a pitch in that situation. Whenever they talk about, you know, Ray Ross and, hey, man, we really like this stuff, need some more seasoning. Is there a challenge to you like, uh, hey, you know, I'm salty enough right now, take me now? You know, it's a, I think it's just my job to take the ball every time that they tell me I'm going to pitch and uh, with any competitor, just take it and um, try to get out. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to compete. Um, you know, I'm going to do my best. And, you know, it's it's not my decision of what they do. But every time I get that ball, I can promise you I'm going to give, you know, 100 percent and uh, compete my tail off. Where do you, um, what, what have you learned from Freeland? And, and was it, Kind of advantageous to you to come in after Kyle pitched today. Yeah, I mean it was cool. It was first time you know pitching after Freeland and a guy that I look up to that I've watched you know in the big leagues ever since I got drafted and um, kind of have similar pitches uh, with the curveball, changeup, and fastball and just kind of talking to him about you know setting up hitters, different sequences that he throws, what he had success with early in his career, what he didn't, what he would change, you know stuff like that. And so. Uh, Really, the biggest thing I like to watch is just the way he competes, um, the way he takes the ball, his demeanor. Um, you know, and, and I'm kind of that same way when I get the ball um, and I step on the mound. It's uh, me versus the guy in the box, and uh, you know, I'm going um, full edit. Yeah, I think that, uh, that 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 does seem to be a similarity and something that's important. How important is it to be out there and show them that you're not just you know a guy pitching, but when you walk off the mound? At the end of the inning, you show them that you're, um, I think the word would be a dude. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what, you know, I, I think they drafted me to do. Um, they drafted me to be a guy in the in the starting rotation, you know, for years to come. And so just showing that demeanor, um, trusting my abilities, you know, I've put in the work. Um, I've worked a lot on physical stuff, mental stuff. Um, and then when it gets to games, just kind of a clear mind and um, just having fun with it. Hey, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Go to Kevin Henry, and then we'll finish up with Tracy. Kevin, go ahead. Hey, Ryan. Thanks for the time, man. Appreciate it. Um, Kyle, whenever he was on, talked about that he was kind of trying to be an open book for you. Uh, what are some of the things that, you know, is it more of uh, how he goes about his business? Is it more of mentality? What are, what are some of the biggest things you think that you picked up from that? Um, you know, like I said, uh, just the, his routine, um, yeah. the way he goes about his business every single day. Um, he knows exactly what he needs to do every single day. Um, you know, we're actually catch partners every day, so we're able to talk um, about different things, you know, whether it's coming off an outing or, you know, just different things with our pitches, what we see, what we can get better at. And so, you know, it's been a building relationship, you know, this spring training. Um, he's been very beneficial to me to, to be able to talk to him, um, you know, and run things past him because, you know, obviously he has a, a lot of experience at the, at the big league level, um, and that's somewhere I want to be. Um, so just trying to pick his brain as much as I can has been helpful. And then is there that lefty bond, uh, you know, with Gomber as well, that uh, you, you guys pick each other's brain a little bit as well? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Gomber came in and, um, you know, we clicked right away, uh, obviously being in the same group and uh, me, Freeland, and Gomber talking all the time. Um, you know, he, we, me and Gomber have similar stuff with the curveball and, and fastball changeup. Um, he's got a very good curveball, so just kind of picking his brain about his grips, what he thinks. Um, you know, when he throws that curveball, um, you know, has been beneficial to me as well. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right, Tracy, finish it up, please. Sure. Just, uh, you know, with Gombert here competing in spring training and getting starts in the games and that, I mean, do you, do you look at yourself as getting experience by being here? Or if it didn't work out, could, would you be comfortable coming out of the bullpen? Maybe as a long man, or do you think you'd be better off to go back to, and get to pitch on every fifth day basis? You know, I, I I got I got drafted to be a starter. Um, you know, and if and if they need me out of the bullpen, I'm you know I'm up for that. You know, whatever they need at the big league level, whatever I can contribute to the team, um, you know, I'd be open to. Um, but you know, just just kind of setting my mind to be a starter at the big league level is really what I'm worried about right now. Um, you know, if down the road they they want to use me out of the bullpen, then obviously open up for that. Yeah, I just meant that as a temporary thing to get you to the big leagues, not, yeah. as, not as a long-term plan. So don't, don't really try to make that move for your career. Yeah, 
to answer your question, yes, I would be, you know, open for that. Any way I can get to the big leagues and, you know, help the team out is what I'm, what I'm ready for. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate it all the time. It's all